And speaking of playoffs, for the first time in program history, Bath High School cross country has made it to states. They'll be running in Obet starting at 11 a.m. Saturday. And we spoke with the coaches and some of the team about what it means to be part of history. Well, it's, kind of, it's kind of been surreal, to be honest with you. You know, you don't expect it. We could tell the kids what they would had to do. And if they chased and worked and ran as a pack, that they could make it happen. And, you know, it did happen. This group of kids being able to come out and really and see, see their hard work pay off. And to see a group of not only five, but we've got seven really, really strong runners. You know, having five runners under 19 is, I think we were the only, there were only one, was only one other team in the region that could say that. Well, these young men have been with us, some of them since seventh grade. And this summer they were putting a lot of miles in and it paid off. Especially this year, getting like second place at districts and regionals, it's really like cool to see how far we can make it if we all work together as a team. It meets everything. It's this is my first year running cross country, so I played football for a long time, so actually starting to win feels good, so <laughs> it means everything to me. Crazy thing is, is that we made it to state, but we haven't won a meet all season. We've got uh, a couple seconds and three thirds. Haven't quite got there, so there's still some uh, goals that they can still shoot for. Our best league finish was fourth ever in, the, in our school's history, and it was back in the 70s. And since, since he started coaching, since I've been here, our best league finish was fifth, so um, we've, like you said, we've had some individual kids that have really, that have gotten there and really put in the time and effort, but this is the first time we really had a group come and buy in.